In this video, we are going to look at section modulus. I'm going to explain what it is and then show you an example at the end of the video. Section modulus is simply a geometric property. Most commonly we use section modulus when designing beams or any other flexural members. Because it is a geometric property, section modulus is highly dependent on the shape in question. There are two types of section moduli, the elastic section modulus and the plastic section modulus. When it comes to notation, especially when you read textbooks or look at examples, it might be a bit confusing because there are different notation in use in different countries. In the UK, in British standards, elastic section modulus is noted as EZ and plastic section modulus is noted with a S. However, in US, this is other way around as you can see in this table. Eurocodes have done something clever about this. Eurocodes have introduced a more clearer notation where W is used for both plastic and elastic section moduli, but distinguishing between them by using subscripts EL and PL. For general design purposes, it is common to use elastic section modulus applying up to the yield point for most common materials. The elastic section modulus WEL is defined as I over Y, where I is the second moment of area or moment of inertia and Y is the distance from the neutral axis to any given fiber. Let's look at this example where the depth of the section is D and the width of the section is B. Obviously we know the neutral axis is somewhere here and this would be D over 2 and this would be D over 2. And we can write second moment of area I is equal to B D Q over 12. And if we look at this bottom fiber, we know the distance from the neutral axis to this point is d over 2. That is equal to y. So we can write for the bottom fiber, wel is equal to bd q over 12 over d over 2. And this comes to b d square over 6. Obviously if you calculate the same for the top fiber it is going to be the same for this rectangular case as the distance from this neutral axis to the top fiber is also d over 2. So we can write elastic section modulus for the bottom fiber is equal to b d square over 6 for the rectangle that we are looking at. Now let's look at the units of section modulus. W E L is equal to I over Y and units of I is and units of Y is therefore units of section modulus is millimeter cube or meter cube. You can use this relationship to develop section modulus about any axis for any given shape. I will add links in the description box below to videos where I show you how to use section modulus to calculate bending moment and bending stress. If you have any questions about this video, please post your questions in the comment section. If you like the video, please like the video. And if you would like to see more videos like this one, please subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching the video.